welcome back to the channel. My name is Max. I am the Fast Talking Flipper. It is Wednesday, so that means it's a pool video for the midweek. Uh, Christmas got us screw up, screwed up this week. So we're going to have Wednesday and Thursday, and that's going to be it. Um, I'm not going to pull on Friday. I'm not going to film on Friday. We're going to try to do some stuff over the winter just because we're out of yard sale videos. I didn't get around to a ton this summer, but I'm still picking stuff up. So I want to do some educational stuff. I want to do some informative stuff, and hopefully it'll help push your business because we are resellers. We buy locally something you know inexpensive and then we sell it somewhere else for more online usually ebay you know that kind of thing we do do uh do do <laughs> childish humor we do do facebook marketplace and we also do poshmark and whatnot and we'll continue to expand i do have a whatnot account i do have a mercari account i just need to get into it we don't spend much time doing this but we try to maximize the amount of money that we make while doing this so you can do this part-time you can resell part-time and make a good amount i would say that we probably spend each one of us between 15 and 20 hours a week so combined that is a full-time job but between the two of us it is only part-time so i can pick up where she left off and she can pick up where i left off and in case you don't know who she is talking about angie angie is my better half she is my girlfriend and she is inside cleaning up right now just going through some stuff in the house that we you know because we all you're a reseller you have stuff everywhere you have stuff everywhere. It just kind of happens. Uh, so my first item for today is uh, Texas Instruments. This came out of our Texas Instruments lot, and uh, it is proving true that this lot wasn't hugely valuable, but it was a learning experience, and it made us money, so I cannot complain. I paid $100 for the TI, um, the computer and all the games and whatnot it's not an overly valuable game but it is a micro surgeon voice thingamajigger i don't know how it works but it does and it, that's what it is 15.99 plus shipping easy to ship you see it's already packaged it'll just go out of here just like that 15.99 plus shipping my next is a bolo and I will say that I have found these numerous, numerous times. It is important when you're buying Bose speakers to buy specific ones. This is one of the cases. These are Bose 4.2 and they are Series 2. Series 2 are very specific in that they're highly collectible. They are a great sounding speaker. I love, I'm an audiophile type person. That's what they look like on the inside. They're a reflecting speaker so that they will throw the sound based on where they're at. And they are a very versatile speaker they sound good no highs no lows must be bows they're very rich they don't have a lot of bass to them they don't have a lot of treble to them and you can adjust that out as much as you want but it's still not going to work they're a very rich speaker but the 4.2 comes with a series one and the series one is junk there is another speaker that looks exactly like this slightly smaller and it's a 2.2 don't buy it. 2.2 is not worth anything. I gave $60 for these with the manuals and they sold for $275 plus shipping and they're local. Um, I wish they would have came and picked them up, but they're, they said they're sick and they just want them shipped. So, you know, whatever. It is what it is. They paid $70 for shipping. I'm going to ship each one of these individually in like, uh, I don't know, 18, 14, 10, maybe. I don't know if that's going to be big enough, but um, I can't remember. I've shipped plenty of these before. I've had a lot of these. I've probably had, I don't know, 15 sets. I've had a lot of the 4.2s. There is a similar one that looks like this, but it is a Series 3, and it is a 301 speaker, the Bose 301. I'll tell you right now, anything 201, stay away from it. You don't want it. There is uh, the 4.2 with these. There is also the 901, which is probably one of the more expensive ones that you can find, but usually you can find those, the 901s, with the tulip stand, and it's very important that you find the 901 with the equalizer because they are a balanced set of speakers. They are also a reflecting set of speakers, so you'll put them face facing out, but the speakers will be facing backwards so they bounce off the wall and give you a full, rich sound. The longer the wavelength, the better it is. It's a lot of physics, but if you get into audio, you'll figure it out. The 901s, I have parted out many a time. I have parted them out, you know, one speaker each, and then the stands and the equalizer, and you can make a ton of money off of those. Uh, the most that I've sold a set of 901s for was $1,200. There is a set of 601s, 
Again, those, I believe it's Series 3 with the 601s that are the most valuable ones, and those can go well over $1,000. And I've, I've picked up several sets of those. They're difficult to ship because they stand, you know, 30 inches tall, or give or take. And they are, oh man, they are an amazing, amazing, amazing sounding speaker if you can get some power to them. But you need a really good receiver. And I'm, I'm rambling on and on. I love audio. I grew up in the audio world. I had a car stereo store for several years where I worked in car stereo and I had a car stereo store for a couple of years. So it's something that is near and dear to my heart. I love it, and it's very, very fun. Gran Turismo 5 sold. Uh, we were back on this. Uh, I had some discussion in the chat, and I loved it, about the movie Gran Turismo, and a lot of people enjoyed it. Me, not so much. Um, of course, there it is. It's buried between a GameCube game and a PS2 game. Gran Turismo 5 for the PS3. Not a high dollar game, but it's easy to ship. Definitely is not something that we would have bought individually. Probably came in a lot. $5.97 going out of here today. So that's an easy one to ship, an easy one to get out of here. B3. I hope this buyer isn't the one. This is a, this is a buyer that you fire as uh, Paige would call it, it's down in there. It is a CD player. We had a buyer that sent a bunch of questions about this. Have you tested it? Have you done this? Have you done that? If you stood on one foot in Tuesday in February and looked at the sun while playing the CD in it. Uh, they asked a bunch of weird questions and then it sold like two days later. This sold for $13.99. It gave 50 cents for it at a yard sale. $13.99 plus shipping. Um, not, not, you know, anything spectacular. That's one of the kind of things that I don't even look up. I, I would just pick it up and buy it. Hope for the best when we get home. And I'm going to start getting away from these as we move into the new year and not even listing that. I would put that maybe in a whatnot auction, maybe in a local yard sale because we'll start having yard sales at least twice a year this coming year and getting rid of inventory like that because that is i'm not knocking you if you do list that i'm not at all it's just that's not our model and with that you shape your business if you want to sell stuff like this that's fine i just don't want to have in order to continue to carry on and go upward i have to raise the number of items that i have or raise my average selling selling price i am limited on space so i don't necessarily think I can go through the roof with items. I can't list 5,000 items. I don't have the space for it. But I want to sell the amount that 5,000 items brings in, if that makes sense, because that means I would be doing about, uh, you know, $300,000 a year. And that's a pretty good chunk of change. But um, in order to get to that number, I'm going to have to sell more expensive items. So I want to get away from these kind of things this individual. I, this is kind of hard to get away from because you get lots of them. You know, you go out and you'll be like, hey, do you have any video games? I sure do. And they'll pull out a big box. How much do you want for the whole box? You're not going to say, I'm going to price that game individually and give them a price on it individually. You're going to say, I'll give you 50 bucks for that box. And then you come home with 100 games. And you're like, damn, some of these just aren't great. But you list them anyway because they eventually sell and stuff trickles out. So it, it is a conundrum that you fall into, but we're just going to try to get away from it. Um, just and focus on the higher dollar stuff and see how that works for us. It may be a model that is not... Um, where am I at? That is not sustainable so i don't know we will we'll find out mickey shirt poo tigger i got a bunch of new with tags um old shirts another tigger i'm looking for another tigger mm. ugly cat shirt small this one here that's what it is i wish i had i could show you guys I'll put all this stuff back so I don't, um, you know, make the mess. And then never clean it up. And uh, Angie muckducks me. Oh, muckduck. That's an office reference if you don't know. Ugly cat shirt. Size small. And this I took a low offer on. This is, I, I'm exercising what I tell you guys. That I had listed for $34.97, and I took an offer of $20. It is a sweatshirt. It is Christmas. It's an ugly cat sweatshirt. It's a size small. I, I, I just don't see it moving, and it's been listed for a year. I don't see it moving quickly, and I had someone send me an offer, and it was one of those offers that they'll pay immediately if, uh, if I accepted it. So I took the money and ran. I've got a dollar in it. I've got one dollar in it, and I turned the money over. So 
Uh, that works for me. This next one is a Wii. I am not gonna pull that out just now because um, there's just too much stuff in there. I, I have to confer with Angie and make sure that we get the right stuff. I don't want to mess it up. And yeah, my table's kind of messy. But I did sell a Wii. And this is weird because there is a, there is a guy on eBay. And you've, if you sell video games, you've probably gotten offers from him. VGBroker.com or something along those lines. And he sends these ridiculously low offers. He doesn't care to offend anybody because if you take his offer, he's won. You know, he, he might send offers on a hundred different systems in a day. And some people will say, yeah, sure. We have that's listed this is a wii system uh complete wii system i think it's tested working it's a bundle it's got controllers it's got the uh the little i-fi thing you know the thing where you it sees you and it's got everything it should work um they had it listed for 54.97 he offered 20 dollars and 63 cents we said absolutely not and then suddenly i got an offer right after that of 50 dollars. i took it you know it's been on the shelf for a while wii's don't sell very well i'm sure you're aware that wii's have dropped in price during COVID, they were up really, really high, and now they're low. So we took $50, and we'll get that out of here. So that's my um, few for the day. That brings my total to what I don't think I said this. It was six items for $523.48. That's kind of where I want to be. You know, that's, um, that's over... $80 an item. That's uh, almost $90 an item, isn't it? Yeah, $540 would be $90. So that's $80 plus an item. That is awesome. That's where I want to be. That's an easy way to get yourself to six figures. So that's my goal for the year is six figures. Uh, we'll just keep on pumping. I'll see you tomorrow on Thursday. Okay, guys, welcome back. It is Thursday. It's late in the day. I got to get down to the post office. I got to get down to UPS and ship the stuff. Mailman did not come today and pick up my stuff, so uh, I've got to get all that down there. Otherwise, it's going to be late, and uh, we had a day where we missed some stuff, so we're kind of high on our late shipments. Um, it just happens. You know, it happens. eBay forgives you for being a human, and they understand that if you do volume, you're going to miss your, your deadline for shipping. Uh, we were supposed to ship one day, we shipped the next day, and it, it just didn't, you know, it happens like that. So we missed out on a day. Not a big deal. Not a big deal. I did have some good sales yesterday, man. Whew. Had some good sales yesterday. I had some good sales the day before. So I'm blessed in that category because I've got five items. $459.36 going out of here. Um, quite a few small ones. Ooh, buyer's note. A whole bunch of different stuff. Please ship it USPS. Wow, that's a whole, asking a whole bunch there. It's going to be fun to ship that one. I hope I gave it a couple extra days. I did not. I've got to get it shipped out of here. I'm talking to myself. Leave me alone. Uh, yeah, first one. Let's go to N2 and get some uh, HEPA vacuum bags. Just start there. <laughs> um, you know how it is. You're <laughs> you get hyperactive, <laughs> and then I think it's both of these simplicities. Got these at my honey hole. Give a buck a piece, I believe. I believe. <clears throat> That's how you got to do it sometimes. HEPA, simplicity, vacuum bags. I like picking up vacuum bags because you can usually get them dirt cheap and that's what we did with these. Gave a buck a piece for them. Took a while to sell. They've been here for probably a year. I, you know, that's that's slow mover, but that's kind of how your store is going to be. And I have no idea how much they sold for because of course it's off the screen, just a scotch, a scotch. They're up there, I got them, two of them. These two guys, I'm just gonna put them in poly mailer and uh, ship them out of here. I got some good size poly mailers. These are HEPA vacuum bags and they sold for $24.97. So I'm gonna get those out of here. This is where I got a whole bunch of different stuff. Uh, thank you in advance. Bye, please wrap to item. Uh, yeah, okay. Send you payment via PayPal. I don't. I don't think this guy does a lot on eBay because he he gave me a whole bunch of weird instruction. And you'll see why I got a bunch of weird instruction because it's this guy, an old railroad lantern. Um, mm, I think I gave sixty or seventy bucks for this. I got it in a package deal, but I think I allocated like sixty bucks in the package deal for it. It has been around for a little bit. It is a vintage lantern. It is original, authentic, old, that kind of thing. I'm going to try to figure out a way to get... I think each one of these comes off somehow. I think I'm going to try to figure out a way to get those off. I don't know. We'll find out. But it's going to be fun ship. 
it's gonna be fun to ship that's for sure gave 60 bucks i think uh guy originally wanted like 75 i think i had packaged it up for 60 and uh had it listed for 299.99 but um he made an offer is like 225 or something like that i declined it i gave him 250 and you know he hit me back at 245 and i took it it's been sitting around for a couple months. I like moving money, and this is the perfect example. Take your 60 bucks. I've had zero interest in it other than that. I knew it would be a niche kind of item where it's going to take a little while to get out of here. It's pretty darn cool. These old railroad lanterns get uh, can get real, real, real expensive real, real, real quick. And this is an example of a decent one uh, for $245. So that's going to go out of here. And you can see that that's my biggest chunk of change. Uh, I've, I've got another thing that's going to go out of here for some decent money here in just a second. Small is 11. This little guy, I pick these little creams up anytime I see them. Uh, Itality. <laughs> I see what you did there. You're so clever. $10 plus shipping. I think it was listed at like $13.99, $14.99. Uh, but $10 is going to get it out of here today. This sold quick and I probably, I didn't realize what I did. Well, I kind of did what I realized, but I just, I want to move money. I'm really, really interested in moving money because it's the end of the year and I want to get inventory down. These two pieces, I gave $5 for them at the auction that we went to in Pittsburgh recently. They're snap-on. It looks new. It's a snap-on, you know, quarter-inch drive uh, set with two batteries. It doesn't have a charger. I listed it for $99. Got an offer of $80 and uh, I declined it, responded with $90 because I had already offered 8% off on it. Well, I, you know, I'm, I'm aggressively sending offers, man. I send offers two or three or seven times 10 15 20 times a day i sent them pretty often so i uh, got an offer of 80 i took uh i sent them 90 and it sold and it's going out of here just like that so 90 bucks uh, my last one is media 3 what is this sims 3 for playstation 3 on media 3 that's a lot of threes yeah sims 3 playstation 3 media 3 is it right there the Sims 3, it is right on top. Ta-da! Cheap video games, $4.98 going out of here. But video games are easy to ship. You know, Paige just made a, a video about that. Uh, even though the, the bottom is falling out of some of these disc type games they're so easy to ship they're so easy to list they take no time the only issue that you have is that you might have to try to play it uh angie tries to test every game so it's it takes a little bit of time to get them you know at least fired up and thrown in the, the machine and so on that's why we have you know so many different consoles that we keep personally so that's it i've got two days uh what that's a little over a thousand bucks i believe yeah a little over a thousand bucks and i think we shipped ugh, 11 items so that's a pretty good average sales price i think i think i did okay i think i did okay let me know what you think in the comments down below remember to like share subscribe do all that kind of crazy stuff and i will see you on the next one